All right, let's talk acceleration versus top end or speed. And um, this is for us kind of a new talking point or a new discussion. I intend to make a full uh, downwind dialogue with some of the um, engineer brain guys. Um, so this is just an introductory concept um, just to get us thinking about it. So leave your comments below. Um, and later on when we uh, post it up onto voyagerfolder.com, go check it out and leave your comments up there. But anyways, um, you know, I think when we first get into the game, it's all about how this foil pops up easily, this foil pumps easily, this foil carries easily. But as we are getting ready for racing and uh, as a sport of uh, voyaging, downwind foiling is um, on the horizon for racing, you know, we're starting to dial in different gear and um, comparing speeds. But what we've been noticing is that there's really two categories of speed in a sense or performance of speed which is acceleration and uh, top end or, or, or top speed and depending on of course there's so much different variables and factors right you got the wing size you got the wing shape you got the mast you got fuse length you got tail wing but it's interesting because if your wing falls more towards the acceleration side meaning it's good at accelerating there's pros and cons right you can really go fast bring the wing up to speed go up and over in small mediocre conditions um, but sometimes it depending on the wing it will or will not have a good top end meaning it won't like to stay there um, so this is a good wing for attacking and just kind of manhandling the bumps and maybe it's um maybe it's uh condition specific or rider specific um and then, then on the other side of the spectrum we have uh a wing that performs at top end um maybe it'll take a little bit longer to get there but once you get there um it likes to stay there and it performs well there and it's easier to kind of manage your speed and like i said this it's interesting too because this can be very condition specific rider specific um but yeah it's it's interesting as we tie this all in together i think like i said progressing forwards towards racing we obviously want to be going the fast as we fast as possible as fast as we can um but do it efficiently and there's you know different applications for that right when we have the voyager race in june it's a eight mile race at this point eight miles is is a good run but it's it's almost gas on the whole time whereas when we look towards longer channel crossing races right um you may or may not be able to you know hold a hold a pace a, a sprint blitzing pace the whole time so perhaps a wing um that has good quality top end um can or cannot do better but it's interesting we don't know we're learning i'm learning i've never been a gear guy that pays attention to any of these finer details um but like i said it's exciting for me because i'm learning and i'm i can understand and feel the sensations i've just never been able to articulate them or apply the um concepts or principles or mechanics of it so yeah look out for a downwind dialogue i'm gonna bring on some of our buddies to talk talk that through and i think it'll be a good chat right on. Aloha.